Hey everybody, Alex Davis. Gonna give you a swim jig 101. And this swim jig is all about braid swim jigs. We're not talking about fluorocarbon, this is gonna be strictly braid. I'm gonna start on the gear first. This is a Karadu 150 XG. Put on 50 pound max quattro. What I like about max quattro, 50 pound strength, 40 pound diameter. Make super long cast with a little roll cast. The braid's about too thick. It's absolutely, that's critical for casting. Uh, rod, 7.2 medium heavy Corrado rod. This rod right here is super, super lightweight. You'll see me here in a second when I teach you how to throw it. You need a really, really light setup to do this all day. It kind of will wear you out. So I want a lightweight reel, a light rod, really still sensitive. What's weird with a swim jig is I hop it, I shake it. If you don't see the bite, a lot of times you don't ever feel them. Your line just starts swimming to the left or swimming to the right. So you want something as sensitive as you can get because you're not gonna feel a lot of them, but you still want it lightweight. You want about 80% power. This medium heavy got me about 80% power, 20% tip. The tip is for two things. One, making those little roll casts. A lot of times you're trying to put it tight quarters, either be vegetation or be trees, whatever it is, you have to be precise with it. But when you start shaking it, with the braid, it has no forgiveness. When one gets it, instinct, I'm jerking. So I want something that has a little bit of a shock absorber in the rod. This 7.2 medium heavy crowded rod has a perfect amount of shock in the rod. I'm not gonna jerk them out of the water or jerk holes in their mouth. It usually just gets them right in the top, right through the head, that's where you want it. Talking swim jigs, I only throw two sizes. This is a half ounce, it's a homemade jig. Um, the line tie is very critical. You can see right there, it's vertical line tie. It comes through cover very, very well. You want a pretty stiff weed guard because you're usually gonna swim it around heavy, heavy grass, lay downs, bushes. So you want something pretty stiff to make it through there. That hook right there, that's a four out hook. On trailers, I keep it real simple. I throw a Z-Crawl Junior. I don't really change up trailers. All I do is for colors, I just switch the color trailer to the color jig. I throw three colors of jig. If the shad are spawning, I throw a white jig that mimics a shad spawn. If they're feeding on brim, I throw something that's green pumpkin. The other 85% of the time, I throw black and blue. I keep it very simple. I have three colors. I usually match my trailer up. This is actually a June bug trailer. In Florida, where we are now, June bug has a different look in the lake. Um, it just has a different color. It looks really good paired up with a black and blue. If I wasn't in Florida, I'd probably just throw a black and blue trailer. Um, size of jigs, half ounce and three eighths. If you're gonna fish in that one to three foot all day long, I'd probably go with the three eighths jig. Just easier to use, easier to get around. If you're gonna fish three foot and deeper at times and then fish shallow, half ounce. All I have to do with a half ounce is just keep my rod up. If I keep my rod up, I can see the bait the whole time. If I'm fishing a little bit deeper, I can put my rod tip it down and I can still give it the action I'm fixing to show you. So I keep it pretty simple. There's two ways to work a swim jig. A lot of times if you're in Florida uh, or anywhere in the country, Minnesota, up north, I've even used it, you throw and reel it. It's pretty simple. You, you, know, you can just throw it, reel it through grass flats. When you come to a piece of grass, you can go give your rod a twitch. The thing that I like the most, and I think you can fish behind people, they call it the Alabama shake. That's what I've always heard. That's where I learned it, because I'm from Alabama. Let me give you a little crash course. So, just gonna throw that thing out there. Let's say there's some trees. You sit there, and this is what you do all day long. That's why you need a lightweight rod and reel. I sit there, and I just pop that rod tip. What this does is it's making that jig go absolutely crazy back and forth. Like in the water, you'll see it. You can watch it, and it'll go left. It goes right. It goes up, it goes down. I mean, it looks like a, a bait fish or any kind of something that they're eating. It's trying to get away. The, you always want to put it around cover to me. I love throwing it around. Submergent vegetation that grows on the bank, trees, bushes. You can put this swim jig wherever you want it. You can get it out really easy. It's very rarely gonna get hung. You can virtually make a fish see a bait that he doesn't see much. So swim jigs, absolute game changer. I have one tied on. 100% of the time in my boat, you never know when you're gonna be able to use it. And then you can fish behind people throwing a vibrating jig or maybe flipping. You can get twice the bites they are because they've already seen their technique. So check it out, get you a swim jig, 65 or 50 pound max quattro braid, XG reel, 7.2 medium heavy carotid rod, get you a little tip, get that Alabama shake going, catch you a great big one.